Okay, friends. Uh, let us have the discussion on the last part of the unit two, commercial banking structure and functions. This is the last lecture on the uh, commercial banking structure and functions, where the part of uh, discussion on uh, technological developments in the banking sector. We have already discussed in the previous lecture regarding the. Uh, fund transfer and tools used in net banking transactions where in the fund transfer we have already seen the electronic uh, fund transfer systems ECS uh, and uh, uh, RTGS and uh, NEFT NEFT national fund transfer systems and uh, we have already seen the ATM how it functions how when it came into existence advantages disadvantages precautions everything about atm now after the discussion of all these it is most essential to discuss on the uh, tools used in the net banking part especially tools used for operating the atms that is automated teller machines are the two important aspects the debit cards and credit cards most of us have these facilities we are using it but uh, those who are not having the full details about this debit and credit cards and the part of the discussion of the syllabus we need to understand and uh, prepare for the examination also uh, what is a debit cards and what is credit cards uh, let us understand each one in detail debit card it is a card also known as a bank card plastic card or check card which is called as a bank card plastic card or check card so debit card was introduced before the uh, earlier to the introduction of a credit card the concept of credit card came later therefore whenever in the earlier days we used to call bank card it was referring only debit card it is a plastic payment card that can be used instead of a cash when making a purchases it is a card used to immediately transfer the money directly from the creditor's bank account when performing any transactions. Understand here the debit card is issued to that customer who is having an account in the bank. The banker who has the account of their customers, if the customer prefer to have the debit cards with a separate agreement and application, such cards were issued to the customers for convenient use in the banking transactions so now when the debit card is sought by the customer against his bank account either the um, savings bank account or current account any of these two accounts can be issued the debit card by the banker when the customer gets these cards customer need not require to go to bank for any of the withdrawals <coughs> or <coughs> any of the payments and all that you can use this debit card as a money itself. The debit card is having a plastic uh, chip, having a plastic chip in it or a magnetic resonance chip in it where uh, the card is read by all ATM machines. Whenever he wanted to withdraw the money, he can easily withdraw the money from the ATM card, inserting the ATMs from, in, if, from inserting the debit card in it. So debit card is... Um, operating on the customer's account opened in the bank suppose if the customer withdraws the money from ATM the money is charged to the customer's bank account and the and he can collect the money from the ATMs so here uh, whenever the <coughs> withdrawal happens the debit to the account is made and money is given and this the, the credit card debit card can also be used for purchases in grocery shops or for any of the transactions where the debit card is accepted so whenever he pays the money through debit card he need to insert in the mechanic the payment device of the uh, pay, uh, rece that is a um, uh, receiver's uh, end that is in the grocery shops and all that they have the uh, device called a paying device in that if the debit card is inserted it will ask for the what we call as a, the um, password and when the password inserted the transaction will be affected and money will be transferred to the payee's account from the debit card holders account so this card is issued only against the uh, um, uh, savings bank accounts 
the card is operative till the uh, the deposit is exhausted uh, in the uh, bank account of the customer suppose for example if the savings bank account is having a 1 lakh rupees there is a maximum uh, money can be utilized because minimum balance need to be maintained suppose 5000 is the minimum balance need to be maintained in the uh, savings bank account for maintenance and operating purposes then the debit card can be used to withdraw money till 95000 <coughs> 95000 so there is a limit to the extent of the amount maintained in the eligible amount maintained in the savings bank account so the debit card is uh, uh, what you call is protected with the password which is known to the customer customer can change the part password pin as and when required so some cards debit cards carry a stored value with which a payment is made that is called a prepaid cards while most uh, relay a message to the uh, card holders bank to withdraw funds from a pay that is payers designated bank account in some cases the primary account number is assigned exclusively for use on the internet and there is no physical card this is referred to as a virtual card virtual card refers there is a one more instead of using the plastic card also there is a particular prime number given to the customer he can use that number and operate the uh, payment systems through any of the atms or in any of these things but this is not so common in india in common in, in most common in india is the debit card even biometric the cards are also there and the customer need not require to carry even the debit card also but the, he is given the debit card facility by using his body parts like his finger thumbprints or eyelids and all that so that also identification of the customer is made through the uh, by the machine and payments are effectively done so this is also in, called as a virtual card but debit card is the <coughs> physical plastic card carried by the customer which is issued by the banker on the deposit uh, on the uh, accounts of the customer savings banks or current accounts so the next features of this debit card is operated only by the bank account holders remember debit card is operated only by the bank account holder those who do not have the bank accounts are not issued the debit cards by the <coughs> bankers so to hold the debit card customer must and should have an account in the um, commercial bank or in the uh, concerned bank either a, a savings bank account or a current bank account suppose if the customer is not having the bank account and uh, he is issued a card such card could be a credit card not a debit card so the debit card is always issued to the customers who are having the account only if the account is uh, um, operated through debit cards the customer has to give an application to the bank for this facility and collect this the banker may charge some service charges every year or every six months sometimes even on every transaction depending on the contract or the uh, type of uh, charges made by the banker to the customers to the, the such charges are debited to the account of the customers and collected by the banker for the services rendered on the debit cards second one is there must be sufficient cash balance in the account of the debit card holder to operate the uh, debit card suppose the the, uh, the cash is exhausted total cash is exhausted on the debit card on the uh, account then then debit cards will not be operated debit card will say fund deficiency or cannot be um, withdrawn money cannot be withdrawn or money cannot be transferred like that messages will come it is like dishonor of a check like when the check will desire dishonor if the total amount of the check which to be withdrawn is more than the amount maintained in the accounts that is the deposit accounts then in such cases checks will get bounced in the same way the debit card is also getting bounced if there is no sufficient balance in the account on which the debit card is issued the money uh, if transferred for a payment through bank account the money uh, it transferred for 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 payment through bank account 
another uh, this feature is always the money is transferred from the bank account to the concerned payment parties as and when the debit card is used the last one is the transaction cost and the transaction money are reduced from the bank balance and when the transfer transaction is implemented whenever the transaction is made on every transaction if the cost has to be deducted the banker will charge that cost to the customer's account or if the charges are made once in uh, six months after the every six month passage the transaction cost is debited to the account it means that the service charges for operating the debit cards are charged to the bank account of the customer by the banker so these are the four important features of the debit card now what are the advantages and disadvantages you can easily understand the advantages and disadvantages once the concept of debit card is understood the most convenient advantage the most important advantages are most convenient for a cash withdrawals and payments for transaction you might have been experiencing this today by the carrying the debit cards you have availability of a cash anywhere wherever there is a atm cards or you need not refer to carry the purse to any of the purchasing stores where the debit cards are accepted you just give the debit card and uh, pay the money suppose if you go to a mall to watch the movie so movie tickets are also available on uh, debit card payments so such cases no need to carry the money so therefore it is uh, very easy where there is no theft of cash if the uh, cash is there in the purse the holder or the thief who takes away the money becomes the owner of the money without having any problem but in this case if the debit card is stolen and this is until the person who steals the debit card has a uh, <coughs> that is a password known he cannot operate it hence there is no uh, what do you call as a stealing of values from the customers uh, point so that is one advantage next one is quick and fast the payments are very quick and fast in case of uh, uh, cash payments and all that you need to you tender you need to pay the money to the uh, even the odd digits also for example when you buy the medicine from the medical store if the bill is 300 rupees 25 paise or 300 rupees 75 paise it will rounded up to the next digit in the case of transaction but if you are using a debit card the exact money will be accepted by the machine and the same is entered in your bank account it is debited to your bank account so even paises are also counted Uh, in case of the payments and quick payment also uh, quick payment in the sense when you insert it within a fraction of the second and so there is no uh, uh, transactions of uh, uh, money between the parties third one is no possibility of theft of money from the pocket as we have already seen the fourth one is uh, secured by the password is so um, password so third party may not uh, use it there is a wrong in this sp is not required here but unfortunately when typing it might have come secured by password that is password to call as sp means secured password third party may not use it unless and until the password is identified and there is a facility in any atm cards or any payment card that if the wrong password is entered for three times automatically debit card transactions are all blocked and even the debit card also will not be operated by the real owner so in such cases the real owner has to uh, complain to the bank and get the password activated the new password should be activated it is facilities are like this so therefore even the credit debit card holder if he forgets his uh, um, password he may not be able to withdraw the money from the atm or may not be able to pay and if he enters a wrong password for two to three times continuously then the machine will understand that this is the fraud person who is withdrawing the money and blocks the whole debit card and needs to be reactivated by the banker with a separate application to the bank or through the net banking facilities and all that so these are all the complications created in order to secure the payments next one is disadvantages or difficulties of a debit card what are the basic difficulties or uh, disadvantages of the debit card the one is only the card holder can use it no third party can operate it uh, basically because it is a password protected and uh, 
a card holder is the authorized person to use the cards sometimes whenever the payments are to be made even if the customer he has given the uh, what call as a number or a pin number personal identification number or secret code to the uh, other party to pay out in most of the debit card payments whenever there is a bill comes on the bill the authentic signature needs to be made so it requires the signature of the real owner for perfect transaction therefore even the people who are receiving the money through credit cards debit cards will always authentically see whether the card holder is the person using it or not second one is there must be sufficient balance in the bank account to clear the transaction that is one more important if the customer forgets the total amount of the money available and if he tenders the money more than the account deposit money then debit card transaction will be rejected and creates a problem to the customer therefore customer should always an idea about the uh, bank account deposit money available at the time of using the debit card next one is internet facilities must and the bank server be active one more is a, the debit cards can be operated through atm cards and uh, to atm machines atm machines will be effective only when internet facility is there if there is no internet facility and weak signals are there in such cases cards cannot be operated in fact many a time uh, when you go to restaurants and all that you may face this problem of uh, server down or internet weaknesses and all that now in india thanks to most of these uh, um, internet service providers like airtel and jio and even bsnl who have activated their service to a high level therefore it is easy to operate but in most of the village areas where there is no perfect internet networks i think uh, atm machines and uh, debit card usage is useless it will not be happening so therefore atms and debit cards in india are operating well in the advanced cities where the internet and communication facilities are very effective last one is password protection and remembering and change of the password is very much difficulty uh, because remembering a password nowadays most of the debit cards having a four digit passwords which could be easily remembered normally the customers will uh, keep the passwords either their date of birth, year of birth or year of marriage anniversary or sometimes the people will use the word oh, it is uh, uh, their vehicle numbers or uh, uh, their uh, what we call as uh, uh, house numbers something like that as a, in the logical basis on the debit cards if any person who knows the customer and still survey these debit cards he could try with this kind of logics and may open the things also so password protection um is made but it needs to be frequently changed by the customer in order to keep it uh, very safe but once the password is changed if the customer do not remember the new password and is having only old password the outdated password will also do not affect do not operate it does not help to operate the debit card so, so these are all the difficulties so therefore these needs to be replaced with the biometric identification of the customers where the password even if it is forgotten also the debit cards can be operated now we will see the credit card the other part of the uh, banking facility is a debit credit card it is a card issued to valuable trust for the customers without attaching it to the bank balance in the savings or current account any valuable customer who keeps uh, uh, who gives a more business to the customer or having a very good credit worthiness such customers are issued the credit card and the credit card is not having any connectivity with the deposit accounts maintained by the customers either the savings bank account or even with the current bank account the credit card is considered to be a credit worthiness ability of the customer so in america and all that having a credit card is the social vanity the people used to focus the social vanity if they have the credit cards and uh, only the vanity people or trustworthy people or having the social economical positions in the society were issued the credit card so credit card was the symbol of the uh, valuable identity in the society 
even in india also nowadays people are posing the vanity through credit cards because credit cards are not issued to an ordinary customer it is issued only to the credit worthy customers so here the bank will have a trust on the customers or on the credit card transactions and the credit card is not having any connectivity with the account savings accounts or current accounts so any payments made through credit cards is a bank advance it is like a loan given by the banker to their customers for their transactions and it will be recovered after the specific require or time expiry from the directly from the savings bank account or the customer is requested to pay the money as and when the time is over the customer without manage, maintaining any balance in their account can use this card for payments and fund transfer the banker sanctions the credit limit on the card the customer can use this card for transactions within the credit limit and repay that money back to the bank after specified period if the payment time limit exceeds if the payment the payment time limit exceeds the banker will charge interest on the outstanding balance as per the agreed rate say suppose for example if you have a credit card and you can use the credit card for one month all the transactions made in the one month will be debited to the account of the customer and is recovered from the bank account on the credit card or the banker the customer has to pay the credit card outstanding amount after one month so if it is paid within one month the customer may not be charged any kind of interest on the bank credit card money but service charges are charged to the customer once in a year by the banker but not on the outstanding balance no interest is charged if it is paid within one month suppose if he pays if he does not pay within one month any Uh, days exceeding one month will be subject to an interest charged by the banker. So such interest will be too much heavy. Like for example, one percent per month, two percent per month, depending on the banking transactions, outstanding payments. If the payment is up to one lakh, it is two uh, percent. If it is exceeding one lakh rupees payment outstanding, it would be three percent. Like that, they will charge the specific uh, account money on this uh, and. Uh, Collect the money from the customer, and sometimes if the money the this uh, money spent by the customer is huge and may not be able to within that particular uh, month, the customer is also having an option to take the uh, EMI facility, equated monthly uh, investments facility, that is payment facility, can also be provided. Suppose, for example, if the customer buys a refrigerator in a particular month where the cost of the refrigerator is one lakh. Through a credit card, and he could be able to pay only ten um, percent of that. That is ten uh, thousand rupees on that particular month, and remaining ninety thousand rupees he can ask for the banker to provide the EMI facility, where the EMI facility is provided with a huge amount of interest included in it by the banker, by the banker, and the customer can pay that EMI every month direct to the. bank account on the credit card facility so this is what we call as credit card operating system the customer can use this card for transactions within the credit limit and repay the money back to the banker after the specified period in the time limit exceeds the banker will charge interest on the outstanding balance as per the agreed rate so this is what we call as credit card infrastructure now if you see the credit card advantages and disadvantages there are some plus and some minus first one is let us understand the debit card advantages uh, sorry credit card advantages one is it is a convenient payment tool like a debit card because uh, as and when there is a payment options to be made then the customer may use it it is quick and fast all the advantages of the debit cards are there with the credit cards useful for emergencies any kind of emergency arises where you don't have money uh, in your bank account and needs to pay so in such cases credit cards will definitely help especially for medical emergencies or uh, uh, college fees or school fees to be paid on time where there is no money in the bank account or in your personal account in such cases you can pay without having any bank balances or without having any cash in your pocket third one is often required to hold a reservation often required to hold a reservation because uh, it is an additional money that is uh, 
say provide it to you so you have a security of reservation of money in your uh, uh, pocket always so this is one additional which one you have a faith that additional money is there with you and in times of emergencies you can utilize more than the deposits what you have in the bank able to purchase big ticket items and uh, spread out payments like i had already told you you could buy, buy a big ticket means heavy amount uh, of items you can buy and ask for the uh, spread out payments like emi facility and all that the third one is the next one is protection against the fraud the fraud is not because uh, these cards are also safeguarded through uh, passwords and all that and the credit card especially is having a very good uh, high sensitive security checks because uh, whenever the credit card has to be paid the customer has to pay you the otp also that is one time password comes to the registered mobile of the cust customer if the customer is having a registered mobile only if he enters then only the credit card payments are made it is more secured than the debit cards next one is opportunity to establish a positive credit uh, history online shopping is a safe than using a debit card and the possibility of receiving the bonuses as and when there is a tra good transaction on every year on every payments certain points are given to the uh, customer by the banker to uh, motivate the customers to use more of the credit cards because the, the the more the credit cards are used the bankers money is utilized properly uh, and the, sometimes the credit cards incurs interest also which is more beneficial to the bank so the banker is giving a bonus points to the customers on every transaction suppose if you spend uh, what to call as 10000 units you will be given one point as a bonus so like that sorry 1000 rupees if you spend 1% one bonus point one bonus point could be 10 rupees like suppose if you accumulate some bonus points and against to that bonus points the banker may offer you certain gift vouchers or certain kinds of benefits so these are the uh, possibility of receiving a bonuses and all that on the credit cards uh, next uh, the disadvantages or the minus uh, interest can be costly when the balance is revolved if the balance is exceeding and all that uh, the credit limit uh, is exceeded and if you do not pay on time the banker may charge a very huge interest on this the interest could be more than uh, any bank loans like example housing loan or uh, vehicle loan interest would be 10% but uh, it is charged 15 to 20% on the outstanding balances which are not paid within the time by the banker on the credit cards additional penalty fees may apply certain times the penalty may apply may be uh, paid on that if the money is withdrawn more than the limits then tempting to overspend this is one more disadvantage is that most of the people having a credit card feels because it tempts the people if there even if there is no money also when the credit card is there it tempts people to buy the uh, goods unnecessarily which are not useful to them because to utilize the discount facilities or the occasions of diwali and all that people may go for extravagant expenses when they have credit cards after the spending is done when the payment time comes the customer will find it very difficult to settle the accounts understanding that uh, over purchases are made only because of the credit card facility uh, the last one is if not used uh, responsibly it will have a negative impact on your credit score very important if you do not pay money on time and uh, if you fail to pay money on time if you are penalized the credit score will be affected what is a credit score every customer's identification is made as a worthy customer based on their civil score that is credit rating authority is going to understand your attitude of repayments and attitude of taking a loans when you have a good attitude of repaying the money on time it shows your credit worthiness and it is evaluated suppose if you lose the credit worthiness whenever you apply for the banking loans and all that your credit worthiness is checked online through the transactions made because there is a one separate agency which keeps the record of the customers transactions and declare the customers civil rating if the civil rating is very low in such cases you may not be given the loans advances as per any of the bankers therefore maintaining the credit worthiness in the credit repayments is very important so customer has to pay attention to this is one of more disadvantage 
now understand the differences between the debit cards and the credit cards uh, to uh, the debit cards and credit cards and you not required to explain much because we already discussed it in detail but any, anyhow as a part of the uh, study we will just understand the differences one is credit card uh, and second one is debit card just compare this there is the first one is uh, tied to funds borrowed from a financial institution see here the credit card is tied up to the borrowed funds of the financial institution in this case the banker is sanctioning certain credit limit on your credit card and you can uh, use that for your transactions and that much of money will be sanctioned to you in the bit of payments whenever you make to you by using the credit cards whereas uh, mm, the debit card is concerned debit card is attached to the bank account tend to an individual's personal checking account that is the bank account it is attached to the personal banking account hence if you do not use the credit card also there is no any penalty on the debit cards payment because uh, the, the it is attached only to the personal account and the default of payment does not happen because if there is only account balance the customer can use the debit cards but in this case default is more possible therefore borrowed from the financial institution it is happening next one is helps to establish a good credit or improve credit rating in case of credit card the customer can show his vanity by improving the credit rating scores if he pays the money on time to the customer's bank account return the fee funds and maintain the credit card the banker is holding these kind of customers and the worthy customers who are showing a positive attitude in repayment of the time money as and when so responsible customers are rated high whereas uh, in case of uh, debit card has no impact on the credit score it is no way concerned with the credit score because the customer is using the account uh, balance of the account so the customers are not given any credit ratings on the debit cards whereas only on credit cards credit rating is given the third one is uh, accrues interest if the payments are not made on time if the payments are not made on time it is subject to additional expenditure called interest charged on the credit card outstanding payments where uh, uh, in this case debit card does not typically offer rewards or uh, uh, what call is incentives for spending money the banker does not give because it is made out of the bank only here the banker motivates the customer to spend more and uh, if the money is not returned on time he will be charging huge amount of rates so banker is more benefited in case of uh, credit card uh, customers but where in debit card customers banker does not have any much returns because it is uh, a facility additionally given to the customers next one is uh, uh, offers the ability to earn rewards or perks tied to the spending so uh, in case of debit cards whenever there is a spending limit she gives even this diwali if you spend more than 25000 of your 25% of your credit limits or uh, use 10000 rupees or 1 lakh rupees payments you will be given 2% extra reward something like that he motivates the customers banker motivates the customers to spend money in order to uh I enhance the transactions of the banks but in this debit card such kinds of uh, things does not ap ap apply because uh, purchases that exceeds the uh, limit of the account will get automatically declined so the customer will cannot be motivated to spend money more because uh, the credit limit is subject to the amount kept in the uh, atm in the bank account so therefore there is no such kind of thing happening the last one is uh, uh, great for large purchases or uh, travel if you are using a foreign tours or if you are going for a broad and spending more credit card is uh, more convenient than the debit card so uh, the debit card is useful for day to day purchases because uh, if the customer wants to spend money first of all he should deposit that much of money in the account or see that that much of money is maintained in his bank account in case of debit card whereas credit card customer need not require to worry for that so 
he can have a large purchases or travels without having any tension of maintaining the minimum or expenditure balance in the uh, account savings bank account or current account so these are the basic differences between the debit card and credit card in examination most of the time these questions will appear so try to write it well so friends uh, i really thank you for your uh, kind involvement in understanding the concept through my lectures and i also thank uh, for um, using my video lectures kindly share these video lectures recorded video lectures uh, to your friends also so let the knowledge spread properly among all the students so um, i end my uh, second unit like last series lecture here uh, so now i will share with you the assignment questions and the needful activities to be fulfilled as a part of the uh, program thank you